Hey everyone, Anne Marie from Hello Basque here, and today we're going to be talking about Iparalde. Now, Iparalde is a Basque word that means the northern Basque country, the northern part of the Basque country. So that's the three provinces north of the Pyrenees Mountains. You've got Lapurdi all the way on the coast. Well, I guess in your direction, Lapurdi on the coast, and then Baixa Navarre in the middle, and then Chiberoa um, more inland to the east. So three provinces. You may have heard of Iparalde being called the French side of the Basque Country, the French Basque Country, the Pays Basque. And I just want to talk a little bit about the terms today. Things important for you to know about Iparalde. It is uh, the lesser known side of the Basque Country. Like a lot of people, you talk to them and they're like, oh, I didn't even know part of the Basque Country was in France. Like I thought it was just Bilbao and that's fine. So it's a little quieter here. Things that Iparalde is known for, Biarritz on the coast, known for its surfing, beach resorts, holidays, and surf competitions. The city of Bayonne's kind of big. They have their Fête de Bayonne, the big festival, every year. But then also coastal towns like Andaya and saint jean de luz are pretty popular vacation spots as well. But closer to where I'm at right now, inland, you have saint jean pied de port Doni Garassi. It got a little bit of a shout out in uh, The Way, which is a movie that Emilio Estevez and Martin Sheen came out with a few years ago about the Camino de Santiago de Compostela, which is a Catholic pilgrimage that stops off in uh, Tony Bane Garassi. Also, the Basque country here in Iparalde is just very rural, very agricultural, and really beautiful. So uh, you can kind of see behind me, it's really green. Iparalde is known for being very green, very mountainous. Um, so if you're outdoorsy, like this is... This is the dream. Hiking, cycling, river rafting, surfing. Also, there's really good food here. It's not maybe what people think of as Basque food, like pinchos and kind of Michelin star restaurants, things that the Basque country is famous for these days. But um, food is really good. It's like very farm to table, a lot of meat, potatoes, chingar, which is like jambon de Bayonne, ham, just really really good stuff also ghetto basque is amazing here like i have friends from ego alde which is the southern side of the basque country i'll have another video all about that next week um i have friends from the south side who literally come up here to iparalde to buy uh ghetto basque because it's just ugh, it's just that good it's beautiful and i'm biased i love it here it's quiet but it's perfect. So if you come here as a tourist, uh, I would definitely recommend renting a car if you're trying to go inland or anywhere really other than kind of the main towns because there's a pretty good train network that connects the coastal towns um, and going down into the southern part of the Basque Country as well. But if you're trying to come inland, there's buses, but they're kind of infrequent and they only go certain places. I've known about the term Iparalde for a long time, and I've only in the past few years since I've been doing this stuff online started using that term more consistently. Here's the thing. In the Basque diaspora in the U.S., a lot of times we say we're French Basque, we're Spanish Basque. Um, I feel like it's easier for us to just say that, um, especially when talking to Americans or people who are unfamiliar with the Basque country. It's just easier, faster. You know, people know what French is. They know what Spanish is. They already have an idea in their head of those cultures and languages and, you know, geographical parts of the world. I feel like it's easier for people to just put us in that box, like French Basque, Spanish Basque, okay. Some people in the diaspora, but also a lot of people here in the Basque country who really hate that kind of terminology and kind of thinking because... I get it. Basques are Basques. Like ethnically, like culturally, traditionally, like Basques linguistically are Basque. They're not French, they're not Spanish, they're Basque. So I use that term quite a lot. I feel like politically it's um, safer and it's also just a nice way to use a Basque word in my everyday language. Also good to know that my family is from here so if you continue watching my videos and I say something about the Basque country or Basque people and you're just like oh that's not true that's not accurate that's not my experience and like that's totally fair I get it but just know that a lot of what I know about the Basque country a lot of the experiences that I have had in the Basque country happen to be in Iparalde so perhaps I have particular type of knowledge or bias that's kind of based around visiting this region. That's a little bit about Iparalde. That's a little bit about what I know, what I've seen. Um, but like I say, I'm just one person. <laughs> so please don't hate in the comments. I mean, sure, 
Sure, if you're gonna hate in the comments, at least let me know in the comments which terms you prefer to use, if you care about this part of the Basque Country being called French Basque, or if you really feel strongly about Iparralde, but also, um, if you're familiar with this region, like, let us know in the comments where people should visit or what you really enjoy about this region, and let's just get a little discussion going so we can kind of all learn from each other. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button below. If you didn't like it, please close out of this video and just move on with your day, no worries. And if you want to learn more about the Basque Country, Hello Basque uh, YouTube channel is bringing you videos about the Basque Country and the Basque people every week on Thursdays. So hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. So, Iparalde. There's some school kids going by.